Hey everyone, it's Vintage Vinny, and welcome to my first of four drop sales that I will be having this week. I have some great hankies that I will be offering to you all with the hopes that you will purchase them. So if you've never been to a drop sale before, it's like a live sale, only pre-recorded. I share an item with you all, and then I describe it a little bit, give you a price and a number. If you would like that item, you just put the number in the comment section below. The first person to make the claim gets the item. I send you an invoice through PayPal, you pay for it, and then I send it to you. If you haven't purchased from me before, just leave your name, YouTube name, PayPal email, and shipping address in the email that you send to me at skullking95680 at yahoo.com. It is down below in the description box, so you can copy and paste it. So now that I've explained what a drop sale is, I want to explain to you all why I'm doing four drop sales throughout this week instead of putting out haul videos. So I will be having an industrial-themed live sale with Katie of Vintage and Vinyl this upcoming Saturday at 6 p.m. Eastern, and I wanted to postpone putting out any haul videos of stuff that I got when I was out for my birthday weekend and do that next week because I don't want to be behind in stuff and content for my channel. So any of the hankies that you purchased from me today being Monday, I'm going to put one out Wednesday, I'm going to put one out Friday, and I'm also going to have one up on Saturday as well, along with the live sale with Katie. So any of these hankies that you purchase, be it Monday, Wednesday, Friday, or Saturday, I will combine them all into one order for you so that way you save on shipping. So let's go ahead and start checking out what I got here. So this is the first one that I've got to share with you all. Really, really cute. It's got a doily look to it with the purple, not the purple, the pink, the blue, and the white. Reminds me of cotton candy. It doesn't have any stains on it that I can see, or maybe there, you know what, maybe there is some staining, it just doesn't show up very well on camera. I'm not asking very much for any of these, so, you know, it shouldn't, so that would, because I know y'all will have to take some time to clean them. So if you would like this one right here, it's only $4, and it's number 11. $4, number 11, for this nice pink, blue, and white hanky. I'm going to fold it for you, because the embroidered part, not the embroidered part, but the um, the lacy part is on the ends of this one. So again, $4 number 11 for that one if you'd like it. This one is really nice, but it too does have some light staining, probably just from storage. I don't know if you can see those little brown spots. I've heard that OxyClean does a really good job of paying... Sorry, I just got a Timu text does a really good job of cleaning out the stains of um, stained linens and such. This one has a really nice red design, red lacy end to it. This one is going to be $4 also, and it's number 10. $4, number 10 for this uh, red and white handkerchief. Now this one is going to be a two for one price because they are together on this card here. So it looks like you get a pink floral design and you also get this yellow one with the floral design on it as well. So you're going to get both of these which look like they were unused. You're going to get those for $6, number 12. $6, number 12 for the pink and yellow handkerchiefs, and it looks like they are 100% cotton, and Swiss loom embroidery. So you're going to get both of those, again, for $6, number 12. I really like this one. The green is great for springtime, and it's got like a scalloped edge to it. Love that. And this one is a bit bigger, so I'm asking a little bit more money. It's $5, number two. Again, do expect some light staining, because these did 
These must have sat in somebody's dresser drawer or something for a number of years. But I, again, I believe OxyClean will get the tough stains out, as Billy Mays used to say. So this one is a bit bigger, so that's why I'm asking a little bit more for it. Only five bucks, number two. And remember, folks, if you claim any of these hankies today and the sales that I'm going to be um, uploading Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday, the orders can be combined, and hankies don't cost a lot of money to ship. So we've got this really nice blue one with a floral design on it. Again, light staining. I mean, you have to expect that with these old linens. I just don't want there to be any surprises, you know. So this is a smaller one, so the price, of course, is going to be a little bit lower. This blue one is only $3, number three. $3, number three for the blue floral handkerchief. Then we've got this one here, and again, this one has some writing on it, so this must have been for a bishop. It's got a rose, no, no, that's not a rose, maybe a daisy or something on it. This is just loose string. But again, since it has the writing on it, and I don't know that that will come out, price is going to reflect that, so it is only $3, number 7. $3, number 7, for the very nice bishop handkerchief. This one does have some stains on it. Like I said, there are going to be stains on old linens because, you know, that's just, that's how they are. I did put a price on this one, didn't I? I know I put, oh, there it is. Here's the floral design on it. Great, great design on there. And because you will have to take a little bit of time to clean this one, I did put a price of only $4 on it, and it's number nine. $4, number nine for this handkerchief. I will note that I don't see any holes or anything in it, so that's a good sign on any of them, for that matter. So again, because you will have to spend a little bit of time cleaning up and seeing if we can get the stains out, this one's going to only be $4, number nine. All right. This one is really nice. I love the floral design on it. It is one of the larger ones, but this one I don't believe has any real major stains on it. Just a nice design of the flowers and such. This one is going to be $5, number four. $5, number four for this really beautiful floral hanky. These are great for spring and summer, and heck, you don't even have to use them as a handkerchief. You could put them on a table with a lamp or maybe even a vase. They're very universal. I really like the blue color on this one. Look at that. And this one, I believe, is also is like a round, scalloped edge. These almost look like a, um, a hibiscus flower. I'm not a uh, botanist, so forgive me if I don't know what what plant I'm talking about here. But that is really nice. I don't see any stains on this one. It is sheer, but this one I thought would be great if you have a Hawaiian display and you put some Hawaiian things on this, like on a shelf or maybe even on a table for your collections. Really neat piece. Again, it is scalloped and it is a round one. Only $5, number 13. $5, number 13, for the hibiscus flower, question mark, round doily, or handkerchief. And the last one that I'm offering at this sale is the most expensive. It is $7, and it is a yellow floral design. Here's what it looks like. Oops. Again, I don't see any holes or stains or anything on this one, so that's when I that's when I that's why I priced this one a little bit more. But it is I think worth the price. I mean, it's a beautiful handkerchief. Forgive that that was my uh phone clip. But again, if you would like this handkerchief, it is $7 number 14. And folks, that will conclude the first drop sale of the week. If you are interested in any of those items, please make sure that you leave the number of the item that you would like in the comment section below. If you are the first person to make the claim for said item, you will win it. And again, I will hold them until 
this upcoming Sunday when I do invoices. Thank you all so much, and I will see you all at my next drop sale.